Hi everybody, it is Tuesday and I'm making my homemade tomato soup today. We've had it a few times before and we really like it. It is so easy to make in the slow cooker and it is really enjoyable on a rainy day with some bread and butter too. I just start with adding some tomato puree into the slow cooker, not a huge amount, and then just chopping up some fresh tomatoes and chucking them in as well. I've added in just some garlic and herbs mix for a bit more flavour and some black pepper too. This is chicken stock which I'm pouring in. I've just used one stock cube with 300 millilitres of water but I'll actually throw in one more stock cube as well because the tomatoes produce quite a bit of juice obviously so that will just soak that up as well. Now carrot. I'm just using one carrot but this is quite a big one to be fair. I'll just chop that up quite small so that it goes nice and soft in the slow cooker and throw that in as well. All of this will just go on high for a couple of hours and then I'll turn it on to low just until we're ready to blend it up and tuck in. I'm just finally using a hand blender to mix this all up and adding in a little bit of milk at a time just till we get the right texture that we want. I will add this recipe in the description for you just in case you want to try it. Let me know your thoughts if you do. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different, um, it's kind of being lazy, but I want to try it to see, see how it turns out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook some ribs, I marinated them yesterday, um, just in like a generic uh, barbecue rub that I got from Continent, uh, which is the local supermarket here, but yeah, I'm going to try and, uh, try and cook them in like a Dutch oven, but in the bread oven, uh, just because I think I can keep the heat in there. Um, pretty much light the fire and leave it and hopefully it shouldn't they shouldn't dry out too much but if they do they do i just wanted to try something um a little bit different but yeah we'll see how it goes i've just put a little bit of oil in there to stop them sticking to the sides um no idea how long i'm gonna leave them i've got a few jobs to do in the garden just tidy up and out i'm gonna tidy up in here as well and um yeah have a couple of beers and you know, leave them at four or five hours, something like that. I'm not going to go crazy with the heat. I'm probably just going to chuck a log on, shut the door, leave it, come back in a couple of hours. If, it, if I think it needs it, I'll chuck another one on. Um, but this, I've never done this before, so I just thought I'd give it a go. If it just doesn't turn out great, then, you know, I know not to do it again, but we'll see. See the ribs? Been sitting in there for a little while, but yeah, I'm going to... Don't know whether to chuck liquid in or not. I think I'll give it an hour or so and then just see just see what they look like. I've got some apple juice in there, so I could chuck that in there just to keep it a bit more moist. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna light the fire and then chuck it in the bread oven. So that's all systems go. I think once that, um, once the bigger logs take, I'm gonna close it up and leave it. It's about, yeah, three, four hours. Um, check on it halfway. Just make sure it's not dried out. I did end up putting a little bit of apple juice in there just to uh, cover myself. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how we get on. So we're a couple of hours in now. Chucked a couple more logs on the uh, on the fire just to keep it going. 
Also, um, at the back there, I've just got some uh, veg. I thought, you know, we've got a load of veg left over in the fridge. Rather than have it go to waste, I thought, well, I might as well just do some roasted veg with it. So I've got uh, three or four tomatoes, uh, a couple of carrots and some onions and uh, some small little like snack peppers. I don't know what the actual name for them is, but they're just small peppers, really. So, uh, yeah, chuck them in. So hopefully they'll roast and be nice and... Um, Nice and tender by the time we uh, we finish the cook. I haven't even opened the cauldron yet. I, I you know, I'm just I'm I'm being lazy. I, I just can't be bothered. But I have got some chorizo there, which um, if it lasts the time, I'll uh, I'll have that with dinner as well. I think uh, George likes a bit of chorizo. Lucy's not too keen, but um, that might not last. I'm I'm getting hungry, so that that might get eaten before dinner. But yeah. Okay, so I've just pulled the meat, and um, yeah, the bone, the, well, the the meat's retracted from the bones, which tells me uh, that it's definitely cooked. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck it back on without the lid, and uh, just reduce the sauce a little bit, and just try and set some of that marinade on the uh, on the skin. See if that makes a difference. Um, the The veg is roasted nice. I've chucked it on top of the logs just to give it a bit more heat. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to give it another 20 minutes and then I'm going to pull it, call it done. So the ribs and the veg are done. Uh, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's certainly not overcooked, but it's it's tender enough. It's tender enough. Uh, the veg, veg is soft, you know, that'd be nice. But yeah, I think Lucy's cooking some chips, and uh, yeah, we we'll put it all together. That's yeah, a nice hearty meal, and at least I got to have a couple of beers in a man cave, and uh, cook a nice meal. So yeah, happy days. Okay, it's Thursday, I'm in the mood to bake, so I'm just gonna do a really small batch of cheese scones, or scones if you're posher than us. <laughs> Lloyd doesn't like them, so it'll be just me and George, so I won't do a huge amount, but this is the recipe that I use, just in case you want to try them. I'm just rubbing in 225 grams of flour with two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and 50 grams of butter, all in one bowl. And when I've got it nice and fine, I'll just add in 120 grams of mature cheddar cheese. And then I'm pouring in gradually 150 millilitres of milk as well. And then just roll the dough out evenly and cut the amount of scones that I want. And then just bake in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, after a long week of work, it's now Friday. Finished work. We uh, we went shopping, done all the jobs that we needed to do. Now playing with uh, George in his playroom. He's uh, he's built some towers with his uh, Lego. Building a tower. Uh, yeah, Lucy's now cooking sp spaghetti holiday, and I think we're just gonna have a quiet one today. Um, just, I think we're just all a bit, bit tired after a, after a long week, really. 
But you know, I mean, I can't complain. The sun's out. Uh, I had a couple of beers. It's, it's, it's always nice after the working week. Lucy's cooking a nice dinner, and I get to I get to play with George. What do you think, George? Fun? But yeah, we're still we're still prepping for when my uh, when my dad comes. Uh, not long now, one week, and uh, I, I get to go pick him up from Lisbon. I might take you on the journey actually because it's a beautiful drive. I might do like a time lapse because it really is a nice drive there. It's super easy as well. I think it's about three or four roads if you if you take the tolls. It's uh, it's proper proper easy. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I've done it a few times now. A couple of times I've made mistakes, but um, yeah, it's it's not too bad. But yeah, once he's here, I've, uh, we planned the week. And yeah, I can't wait. Proper excited for it. Hi guys, I am absolutely Hank Marvin. And we got a load of eggs when we went shopping. So I thought I'd try to do deviled eggs. Never done it before. Um, I read online that this was like a bit of mayo, mustard, um, Vinegar as well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add in some hot sauce. I've got paprika as well. I'll sprinkle on top, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I boiled the eggs. I've split them into two bits, and uh, that's what I'm gonna make the uh, devil side out of. This is what I've got: vinegar, whole grain mustard, mayo, and a bit of peri peri sauce. So I'm just gonna chuck it in and see what the you know what I think to the texture and go from there think that's the right sort of like consistency texture uh, we'll give it a go i'm sure it'll be fine finished i just sprinkled a bit of um paprika on now i think they look really good they certainly look like the pictures anyway only one thing left to do cheers oh my god they're so good that hot sauce is brilliant absolutely buzzing Okay, it's Saturday evening, that's um, us pretty much done for the week. I feel like we've had um, quite a, a busy, tiring, draining week, so um, we're quite ready for the weekend to chill out a bit now. We've not got that much planned. Um, my parents are going to come over tomorrow evening. They're actually helping us uh, measure up to get a wood burner for our fireplace. Um, we really just want to be prepared for the winter, and we've had a few winters here now, and it does get pretty cold, especially um, these houses aren't really built for, for the cooler weather, so we just want to be prepared to get that in nice and early. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, we haven't got much else planned for the weekend. Obviously we're picking up Lloyd's dad next week, so we've got a few things to do next week ready for him coming. Um, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thanks so much for watching, and we will speak to you next week.